We come now to halophiles. What is a halophile? Halophiles are extremophile organisms that thrive in high salt concentrations. The term halophile comes from the Greek word salt loving. They can be found in the three domains of life. This figure illustrates the distribution of halophiles within the three domains. So groups annotated in red contains at least one halophile. The tree was built using a small subunit RNA gene sequences from Sicarelli et al. of 2006. Halophile organisms are aerobic, anaerobic, chemoheterotrophic, photoheterotrophic, or photoautotrophic. They are ubiquitously found in lakes and coastal areas worldwide, such as Dead Sea in Israel, Lake Urmia in Iran, Solar Southerns in Tunisia, the Great Salt Lake in Utah, and many among others. This is the photo of the Dead Sea, and this is the photo of the Lake Urmia that turned red due to the presence of Halophiles. So, due to diversity, different classification schemes have been suggested to describe uh, these microorganisms. So, they are classified according to their tolerance to salinity. So, we have here non halophile, slight halophile, moderate halophile, borderline extreme halophile, extreme halophile and halotolerant. This classification is proposed by Kushner Kamikura. So for non-halophilic, uh, it could tolerate less than 0.2 moles of salt. So example organisms are Shodomonas aurodinosa and Bacillus species. For a slight halophile, it can tolerate 0.2 to 0.5 moles of salt. So the example organisms are Alkalibacterium, Calasium species, Erwinia species, and many among others. For moderate halophile, it could tolerate 0.5 to 0.25 moles of salt. And here are the example organisms. For borderline extreme halophile, could tolerate 2.5 to 4 moles of salt and for extreme halophile 4 to 5.9 moles of salt and these are the example organisms we have here salinibacter ruber limimonas halophila and so on for halotolerant uh, it is an, an anophile and then halophile that tolerates salt if it is viable 2.5 moles of salt. It is considered extremely halotolerant. The survival of the microorganisms in hypersaline conditions requires a specialized cellular and enzymatic adaptations to preserve the osmotic balance with the environment. So here in this figure, uh, Microorganisms that are not adapted to highly saline environments will lose water. So as you can see here in A. So they will lose water causing the cells to first shrivel and loss cellular structure as well as function. So to avoid excessive water loss under such conditions, halophiles have evolved two distinct strategies to increase the osmotic activity of their cytoplasm with their external environment, either producing compatible organic solutes here in the uh, here in letter B, and or reaching an equilibrium state in which the overall salt concentration within cell matches that of the environment by accumulating large salt concentration in their cytoplasm as we can see here in uh, figure C. 
high salt in strategy. So it is an adaptation that protects halophiles from a saline environment in which they accumulate inorganic ions intercellularly to balance the salt concentration in their environment. This process involves chlorine ion pumps that are found only in halophiles that transport chlorine ion from environment into the cytoplasm. And extreme halophiles of archaeal halobacteriaceae family and bacterial halanaerbialis family maintain their, their osmotic balance by concentrating potassium ion inside cells. For low salt organic solute in strategy, uh, it is accepted by moderate halophiles. So highly saline environment is incompatible for the so survival of moderate halophiles. Uh, the required adaptations involve evolution of compatible organic solutes in the halophiles. So these osmolites protect the microbial proteins from denaturation in water of low salt concentration while enhancing the microbes tolerance to dramatic fluctuations in the external saline environment. For enzyme adaptations, a high salt environment substantially impacts protein solubility and stability and consequently function by dehydration. A noticeable difference between proteins from halophiles and non-halophiles is that those of halophiles have a larger proportion of glutamate and aspartate in their surfaces. Also, they have less hydrophobic amino acids. The acidic residues of halophilic proteins bind hydrated fat ions, which would maintain a shell of hydration around the protein. We come now to the applications of halophiles. Here are some of the presently exploited and potential biotechnological use of halophilic organisms. Here's the producing organism. We have here the Donalilla species, uh, Halomonas inungata, Halob salinarum, and many among others. Here are their products. So for the Donalilla species, it is the beta carotene. Uh, it is used as antioxidant and food coloring agent. And the different members of the Halobacteriaceae at Donalella also produce different carotenoid pigment, pigments, uh, increasing evaporation in southern crystallizer ponds. Halomonas ilongata and Marino Cocos M52 produce ectoin and hydroxyectoin. It is produced as enzyme stabilizer or molecular chaperone, moisturizer in cosmetics, industrial scale production has recently started. And then we have here the polybeta hydroxy alkanoate. So the producing organism is halof mediterranean organism as a high potential for the uh, BHA production. Uh, it is not industrially exploited yet. So different halophilic bacteria and archaea produce salt tolerant enzymes and they are not yet industrially exploited. Uh, some organisms also produce soy uh, involved in the fermentation for the production of soy sauce and fish sauce. No pure cultures are used. The microbial are, aspects are, are poorly controlled according to 
this study. And then, hello, Salinaru. Uh, product is bacteria rhodopsin. So, uh, potential uses include as a holographic storage material, computer memories and processing units, photoelectric converters, and others. All these uses are yet in the experimental stage. And then, uh, extracellular polysaccharides, which has a high potential for the production of valuable polysaccharides to be used such as in the recovery of oil from oil wells, uh, which is not yet industrially exploited. And halophile cell biomass for cosmetics produced by Donalele species. So Donalele is being used as an additive in cosmetic and parenchyme preparations. For the environmental applications, Hydrocarbons pollute many ecosystems, including the atmosphere, soil, and superficial and underground waters. So approximately five of industrial effluents are saline or hypersaline. The severe saline and hypersaline environments in which halophiles can survive justify their sustainability for bioremediation in contaminants, which include hydrocarbons and chlorine compounds. In view of the exceptional ability of the halophilic and halotolerant to degrade hydrocarbons and contaminants, the interest in understanding uh, the role in bioremediation have increased. So this is the table of Biodegradation of biodegradation of diesel and aliphatic hydrocarbon by cultures of moderate and extreme halophiles. So we have diesel, and this is, these are the bacteria: Streptomyces, Albacialis, Marinobacter, Aquaeli, and so on. So this is the continuation of the table. Okay, for other applications, it is also uh, used for genetic engineering. So halophilic enzymes encoding DNA into crops to allow for salt tolerance. So this is a study conducted by uh, Gupta et al. So it is an isolation of gene comparing salt tolerance from halophilic bacteria of Dunsu Chemical Pradesh, Indonesia. The background of the study, halophiles offer an attractive source of genes comparing salt tolerance. So they use the Halobacillus troperis SS1 strain of India, a uh, strict halophile, uh, to isolate and clone the genes for salt tolerance. And then their study led to the isolation of gene encoding, a putative multi-drug transport protein from Halobacillus tripari SS1. The salt tolerance gene can be subcloned for transferring salt tolerance, tolerance traits into the agricultural crop plants for cultivation and Here are the references. That's all.